Birdland have been currently touted by the press as one of the next big bands of 1989. However, they haven't even released the record yet, so I caught up with a couple of members to find out whether 1989 was going to be their year. We've been together six months, and we've had a lot of press, and, and uh, we've been out a single in March, beginning of March, and like people in November, we can write songs and play as well. But even though we, we go on stage and there's a lot of um, aggression to our instruments, but that's, that's the way it should be live. That's with uh, a lot of bands that's missing. They go on stage and they stare at their feet for half hour. We, we have to go on there, we're just so hyped up. We give out all our frustrations and everything to the audience. And, and you know, if I just stand there, that's fine. But like, you know, we'll, we'll have a single out soon. We'll be, you know, and it'll be good. You know, we'll like, we'll, we'll shine through all the art we've had and everything, the suns. It'll prove to everyone what we can do. And the releases after that, it's just the start of what we're going to achieve and what we're going to do, the single is. But it hasn't been hype at all, I don't think. People have saw us and they saw something good, so they want to write about it. You know that we didn't have to put a record out, we could achieve it through the gigs to show people what we can do. The record is just going to be a follow-on from that kind of thing. So we haven't saw it as hype, we saw it as good, interesting thing. People, you know, have been excited when they've seen us, so they've wanted to write about it. You say that um, you've only been together for six months, mm. but I believe you were in the band Zodiac Motel that you all thought were crap, and you're not just Zodiac Motel with different haircuts. No, not at all. No, it's totally different. Well, in what way? The attitude and the feel towards the band's totally different. Zodiac Motel is very much a garage mm. punk band, which is what we really wanted it to be. We didn't set out to be anything else but a garage punk band. So we made garage punk records with Birdland. We want to be the biggest band. You know, we want to go right out the garage and right out of the world if we can. Before it was just like a total mess around. It's just like we'd be sitting on our asses most of the time. Just we'd do a gig occasionally, maybe two gigs a year. So the other time, maybe release the odd demo tape or something. But that was nothing. Now we just we, you know, we want to be up there doing what we do, like against all brass and everything. You know, there's there's something you know there's something different that's missing that we we hope we can give to like the youth because it isn't a youth. You know, it's just like brass and Kylie Minogue and like we can you know we can fight against that you know, with what we're doing. We haven't really taken an image from anywhere. No. It's just evolved itself. And I've had blonde hair for now for about five years or something. And Leas as well, and we just might and the drummer Kyle, he had blonde hair. So, I mean, we didn't say, let's all dye our hair blonde. It just happened that it all fitted together. It's like just evolutionary. Well, don't you think it's a bit odd that you all look the same? I don't like to think about it too much. I mean, none of us have had plastic surgery or anything. So, it's, it's just, just evolved. It's so blonde natural. Hair. I don't even think about the image, you know. It's not something we're going to get caught up in this blonde thing. No. There's, not, there's not one single blonde band I like. The Primitives are darling, but I don't like them at all. But we just, we've just got blonde hair. It's just, it's just something I think bands should fit together, you know, but we're not part of any blonde thing. We're going to transcend that. I could dye my hair black next week or purple or whatever, it wouldn't matter, you know, we'd still be in a band. It's just we happen to have blonde hair, you know. We want people, like, everybody to like us, everybody to buy a Birdland record. And they should do, it. we're worth that, you know. We put a lot of art, we put more energy and heart and soul into what we do than, than most bands have saw in the last, you know, the last 20 years. We put everything we can, and you know, people should appreciate when that. When we play, it's not show business or anything like that. It's, to me, it's totally emotional. I'm totally drained when I come off. I've given everything inside, and when I come off, I'm just drained. I can't react to anything. And a lot of times I feel like that walking around. It's, it's not like we do a show. It's a it's totally oh. natural for me. I don't take any drugs or drink before. Before we go, I mean, we'll be sitting there drinking orange juice or something, totally calm and, and collected. And then we'll go on stage, and it's just like um, I'll kick off, and then Carl will start the drums, and it's just like the to totally pounding. And you just start, you know, you just put everything into it. It's just like you're taking a taking away for about half hour. It's like during songs and after songs will finish, we will suddenly stop and we won't know where we are. It's like <laughs> where are we? <laughs> you know, it's like we, it's just a total feeling that we get. You know, we don't need, it's not drug induced at all or anything, you know. I think if it was drug induced, we would have burned ourselves out. Mm -hmm. Totally. I thought you did for a while then. Sadly. Hmm. 
How do you mean exactly? Well, I just heard that you got heavily involved in speed and drugs and stuff. Oh, I think everyone goes through that sometimes. Not everyone. Well, sometimes you should. I think you should experience yeah. things like that. You should like experience that. everything, kind of want to. Well, we were to. talking about the band. We don't need drugs to go on stage. We get it naturally. It's a natural thing. Do you ever feel that you're yourselves birdland are living in the wrong era at all? No, because I think there's a definite need for us now. Because I haven't seen a band that's like us. And when we dent into the charts, then it'll be even better. I mean, there is a real need. I mean, pop music is totally dead. It's wiped out. You know, it's crap. But I guess it's always been crap, except for the small minority of bands who manage to infiltrate the charts. And there's very little good in there. But when it happens, it's brilliant. I think this is the time for us now. If you look around, everything's so bland and trendy and horrible. I've got a real grudge against the world. I, I hate most of the things I see. So we're really fighting against that, trying to make things better, trying to make kids who are 16 not look like the dads and go down the pub with the dad, which is happening a lot. You know, I want kids to say, like, oh, dad, you know, you know, this is youth, what we're about. You know, the time is now for us. We couldn't, we couldn't really work in any other time because, well, we were too young anyway. I mean, it's all evolutionary. It's happened now. That's why we're here.